So I normally start my day around 4 o'clock and that's pretty much where this vlog's gonna start as well. Good morning. Vlog in CCR. Interesting. You fourth engineer? <laughs> the bridge is nice and dark in the morning. Second officer is normally there from 12 to 4 and I normally take overwatch from him at this point. And of course, the day has to start with my regular coffee. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another episode of Life at Sea. Today we are in the Pacific Ocean. We've been chief mate now on this amazing chemical tanker for one and a half months. It has been pretty crazy and as you guys can see, I don't look the best today because I've had some really crazy days. You guys know we've loaded a bunch of different cargoes in my first month here. As a matter of fact, there are more ports in one month during my tenure as chief mate than the previous chief mate did in five months during his tenure as chief mate. It's just a matter of luck. But when it comes down to work, my luck isn't the greatest. I always get the hardest moments and the hardest jobs to do and that's pretty much what's been going on so i'm having a really bad headache currently we are in the middle of the pacific ocean we are heading to the panama canal that could be a separate vlog of its own we're heading to new orleans america to discharge our cargo and hopefully after that i will clean the cargo tanks and leave this ship i am due for relief already currently on the bridge doing my morning watch a really special day because i'm going to be taking you guys with me you guys have already seen the transition first week from second mate to chief mate you've already seen that vlog on the channel if you haven't you're going to find it in the cards up here link in the description do check it out today i'm going to be taking you through an entire day in the life of a chief made on a chemical tanker when we're out at sea. It's going to be no special operations, it's just a routine day, but a lot of people have requested to see the chief mate's life and that's what this vlog is about. We're going to head down and get the deck maintenance started. So yeah, that is the plan for today. Okay, so you see a change of clothes. Well, I kind of got a little busy yesterday. I couldn't end up filming much, but uh, yeah, it is the same time today. I'm on the bridge. I'm going to take you through today's day instead of yesterday's day because yesterday I was stuck on the computer completing a bunch of reports, which is kind of boring to show you guys. But today I have a bunch of jobs which are planned on deck. Me and the pump man have our morning meeting on the bridge every day and we look at the deck from here and we start deciding what we have to do with Panama. So all our mooring systems and all our mooring equipment have to be in good condition. So the pump man's going to go forward with the crew today and try and over all, all the mooring rollers, the mooring winches, windlasses, all of that stuff. After Panama, we're going to New Orleans, which is in America, which means we're going to have a US Coast Guard annual inspection. For any of you cadets and third mates who watch this channel, the US Coast Guard inspection is pretty tight when it comes to safety. Because so me and Pump Me were planning all of that as well. Contrary to what you have on dry ships, we have a pump man on these ships and not a boat. Figure out all the job orders for the day with me. The first thing we did today for a change was go down to the ballast pump room the moment we got done with our bridge watch. Me and the junior officer went down to line up the ballast de ballast system so that we could adjust the ballast due to the upcoming weather and stabilize the ship a little bit more. It's my junior engineer, going to be fourth engineer. As you guys can see, the options are plenty, so we're going to get some breakfast now. We're going to head on deck. Our amazing junior officer who has decided to leave me and go home in Panama. Currently going on deck to get some jobs done with the junior officer. Today we are going to be stenciling our cargo hoses, making sure all the markings are in place. I've given the jobs to the pump man who's handed over the jobs to the crew. So me and the junior officer and one AB had to go on deck and check every cargo hose that we have on board. It is a super windy day. And I got a bunch of guys working on deck right now. The junior officer stenciling the cargo hoses. We gotta get all our safety equipment in check before we arrive America. So we're getting all of this done. 
Ah, it never ends. So as you guys know, the ship is fully loaded with a heated cargo, which is basically tannin. What you're seeing behind me are the cargo pumps, which I just put on recirculation. You need to keep recirculating the cargo, which means churning it inside your tank, so that this cargo doesn't freeze. And this is pretty much the most critical part of carrying this cargo. The thing about chemical tankers is you not only have to load safely, but the carriage of the cargo is extremely important, just like any other ships. And considering they're liquid chemicals, there are so many requirements that can pop up. It's pretty crazy. So we have to heat and recirculate. So that's what we're basically doing right now. Essentially, how the heating works for cargo tanks is we have two main steam lines: a supply line and a return line that come on deck. After that, each tank that we want to heat, we have special coils that branch out of these main lines, which you guys already saw. And you have to basically use these coils any much you heat the tanks. So you got to keep changing your work because you cannot keep exhausting the fuel. You have to ration. Stay on top of your door. So even though we're doing the heating on deck, I have to keep coming inside to keep checking the temperatures and keep changing the recirculating tanks. This is pretty much an everyday or day routine. Oh yeah, every now and then I have to go back to my iPad mini, which is my note-taking device. I plan all my jobs on this device, and as the day goes by, I normally come back, check all the tasks, keep myself up to date, and I check any reminders that I'd set for me the previous day so that I don't miss out on any critical jobs. Currently 10 a.m. Heading down for a cup of coffee. This is pretty much a routine for all of us officers and crew on board. We get our 10 a.m. coffees every day, and that's basically the time that we actually socialize and chill. Good morning, to Chief Engineer. Good morning. So what we got to do now is we got to go on deck and check with Pumpy about this. So as for the last chief officer's inventory for cargo hoses, we have six hoses on board, but I can only see four lying on the manifold. So I have to go and double check this so we can check again. Bit of fog, so do a quick inspection. Make sure there's no water inside because we don't have enough weather. So we'll also try. Okay, so it's 12 in the afternoon. It is officially lunch time, and I just got back into my cabin, which looks pretty sweet and really clean at this point. Well, technically, after lunch, I'm supposed to be off because I do start my day at 4 a.m. with the watch and put in a couple of more hours during the day, just getting more acclimatized to the job because there is so many things you have to look at as a chief mate. Okay, so it's exactly one o'clock right now. I'm just getting back into the CCR. I have to send my daily report. I normally make a heating log for all the cargo that we have on board. The charters want to see that we're carrying cargo within the temperature range that they have specified. But yeah, this is me putting in a little bit of extra work. It is worth this. Okay, so it's 15:30. I just literally took a shower and I'm ready to go back to the bridge. I have about 30 minutes before I hit the bridge right now, so I'm pretty much chilling in my cabin. Crew is doing the maintenance work that we planned in the morning with the pump man. It looks pretty good, even though I'm not really supposed to keep watch from 1600 to 2000. We have a junior officer. on board i'm pretty much bracing myself up to start keeping this watch because the junior is going home eight days away at this point i am currently in my cabin doing a little bit of video editing it is really really hard especially in this rank for me to be able to give this part of my life for the amount of time when i'm on board it's hard to film because you're so busy and so caught up everyone wants the chief mate at all times i'm doing my best this is another episode of life at sea Sorry for my junior officer. He's going home after 10 months of being on board. All of these guys are getting off in Panama, which is the next port, which is five days away at this point. I have another couple of weeks after that minimum. We have to discharge the cargo, clean the tanks. So yeah, most of the evenings go on the bridge doing exactly this. As you guys can see, it is a crazy, crazy day out at sea. Of course, being the chief mate, the only person I report to is the captain, who I end up meeting on the bridge in the evenings. Every now and then, he and I will go out to the bridge wing, look at the ship, look at the deck, and discuss what jobs have to be prioritized. I 
normally end the day by going to my cabin around 8:30 8, 8, in the evening, pick up my iPad, jot down the list of jobs that I have for the next day for the crew, plan my maintenance, head to bed and read a book. And on certain days I'll pick up my Nintendo Switch and just get in an hour of gaming before I pass out. And that's basically it. That's the day in the life of a chief mate on a chemical tanker when we're out at sea. In a nutshell, of course. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you guys in the next one. So a big shout out to all the crew on Fair Kim Aldebaran. You guys have been fantastic. Each and every one of you have played your part and made me who I am today and got me where I am today. Thank you for your support and I hope to sail with you in the near future.